Yo yo, it's your favorite cog, Dank Downsizer. For a while now, I've been asked how to import custom models into Toontown. If you haven't seen how to make a high quality cog head, I suggest checking that out first. Otherwise, let's get right into the tutorial. Step 1. Ensure the file is in the Maya binary format. First, open your custom model up in Maya. I'm guessing your model will look like crap. You just got roasted. Yeah! Don't worry, I am joking, of course. Anyways, let's open up a real custom model, Nurse Downsizer. Alright that's enough memes for one video, time to get serious. Before we convert it, we need to make sure it is in the right format. Click on the file tab in the upper left corner and choose the save as option. Go to the file type and change it to my binary if it is not already. Save the file and we are ready for the next step. Step 2. Get Panda 3D. 1.9.2 Click on the link in the description and that should lead you to this page. Follow the red circles. This might take a while. Let me speed the download up. Sanic powers activated. We are. We are almost done. Oh look another long download let me speed this up. Hopefully that was not too painful. Step 3. Converting from Maya to Egg and Egg to Bam. Wait a minute. What's that? Half-Life 3 confirmed. Open up Panda 1.9.2 and go to the bin folder. Open it. Place your model file into the bin and backspace once. Hold shift and right click on the bin folder. Open the command window. Now here comes the inconsistent part. What you type in the window is determined by what you want the model to be. Here is a list of different commands. First are the static models. These are models that are not intended to be animated. Second are the models that are prepared for animation. For example, cogs and tunes. Cog heads are not animated, so that will be considered as a static model. Chance is a table of animation data that is saved. These are not viewable, since the model is not saved along with the animation. If you are interested in doing more research on your own time for the whole guide, the second link in the description will take you to this page. Before you go back to the command window, I just remembered one thing. Make sure to have your textures in the bin folder if that's how you set the file path. If you saved it so it would read texture from a specific location on your computer, don't move it. It all depends on how you have the textures set up in the file path. Ok, go back to the command window and put this code in. Then, put this one in. Congratulations, you have successfully imported your model into a model type that Panda 3D can read. Your model can now be loaded into the game. Have a dank day and stop asking me for help you scrubs. You just got roasted! Yeah!